What is good Apple family, it's Ray J back with another video and in this video we're going to be talking about the one and only Apple stock and why I'm still super bullish for the somewhat near term and long term futures. I'm also going to be talking about the overall stock market and how this may have affected Apple today. I'm also going to talk about the US Treasury yield curve and how this actually played a role in Apple possibly being in the red today. And I'm also going to talk about Warren Buffett, one of the best investors of all time. His name is Warren Buffett. He actually made a lot of money off Apple stock and this in turn may be one of his best investments ever, just making me even more bullish and excited for the future of this company as their fundamentals are there and the production is just getting better and better and better as time progresses now before i say anything about apple though before i talk about the revenue and warren buffett i do have to mention some very important things first first off i'm not a financial planner guys this is all for educational and entertainment purposes only and also if you guys can please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this is not only benefits me but it's the entire apple community as a whole and the last thing is if you guys can please check out the Mumu link down below in the description if you do sign up for Mumu, you're not only going to get up to five free stocks each of the $3,500. Once again, it's free money if you sign up down below. You'll also get free real time level two data for US stock and $0 commission trading for US residents and trading in the US market. So please check out the link down below. And with that out of the way, guys, let's get on with the video. So right now, Apple's looking pretty good. It is down about 1.27%. However, it's still looking pretty strong with this schematic that's forming right here. We can see this upper trend is looking pretty strong and Apple's still doing all right, so to speak. But I do want to talk about the overall share price and what i think is going to play out because we do have some very interesting things to look at so the first thing i want to look at is the s p and how this actually relates to apple because the s p tends to move very similar to that of apple right now the s p is down about 0.03 percent not necessarily too significantly but you guys want to know something very interesting that is the fact that the Dow Jones is in the green, but the NASDAQ, the NASDAQ is actually in the red. So why is this very significant? That's because of some interesting pieces of news that just came out. The market is still doing quite well. We're more on the greedy side when it comes to the fear and greed index, but but look at this right here. Look at the 10-year Treasury yield curve. As you guys can see, this thing was dipping quite a bit. Then all of a sudden, we had this big reversal causing it to go up. In other words, if you guys look at these articles like here, it says that the Treasury yields rise following the job opening data. Now, this is very important because this does affect many stocks. But before I talk about them, let's just talk about what the Treasury yield is. What is the Treasury yield? Well, according to Investopedia, the Treasury yield is the return on investment expressed as a percentage on the U. US government debt obligations looked at another way the treasury yield is the effective interest rate that the US government pays to borrow money for different lengths of time treasury yields don't just influence how much the government pays to borrow and how much investors earn by buying government bonds they also influence the interest rates that investors and businesses pay to borrow money and buy real estate and vehicles and etc they tell investors we the investors how we feel about the market how are things probably going to change so one of the interesting things is look this thing started rising and a lot of tech starts a lot of tech stocks started dropping by some margin now look at this right here this article breaks it up quite easily i know the text is a little bit small but i'm going to show you guys something interesting so it states right here fast growing tech stocks have come under fire over rising bond yields and expectations of stronger economic growth now look at this right here you would think that a faster growing economy would drive technology stocks at an even higher pace but if the you know, strong economic growth comes with higher interest rates, which are probably going to start rising very soon. We are in 2022 like so to speak but it can hurt tech stocks whose valuations are highly based on futures earnings so it's based off their future high rates means that the gains in the years to come are worth less today so this is leading to a little bit of fear amongst institutional investors and it is leading them to kind of sell off some shares so to speak now that in turn is what caused tesla and other stocks out there to drop but look at apple it did drop a little bit but i don't think it would hurt apple too much because a 1.27 percent drop is nothing too significant so look at this from a technical perspective right now the maxi did kind of flip with the nine day moving average and it's very very sideways so apple does look pretty sideways right now as it is showing some kind of bearish momentum which means we could see a little bit of a pullback but right now we're treating these exponential moving averages as support or at least a very short term one so right now it's looking strong it's looking very bullish actually but for the short term, I would say that it's kind of sideways, so to speak, as the RSI dropped to 61.9, and Apple is a three, $3 trillion dollar stock, right? It's a very massive, massive stock out there, so it takes a lot to really move it. So what I think could end up playing out is we were probably going to trade sideways for a little bit of time, maybe the next upcoming days, then we're going to maybe continue to see the run-up over the next upcoming months, right, so to speak. So that means that the 
entire new projections coming out that Apple could go to 200 definitely have merit, and we might see Apple approach that maybe 200 within the next upcoming months. So I'm still very bullish as the market is in an upward trend. Now, why am I so bullish? Well, there are many reasons for that. Apple is not just a great company. It has very good revenue, very good fundamentals, but also look at Warren Buffett's take on it, right? Apple, Warren Buffett has a stake in Apple and just hit a record $162 billion, boosting the investors' gain to nearly 400%. Once again, Warren Buffett made one of his best returns ever by buying into Apple at a very good price. And even though the market cap is at a high of $3 trillion, they made quite a bit of money off of it. Now, Berkshire Hathaway has made nearly five times its money on the tech stock. The investors' company lost out about $9 billion in, in unrealized gains by selling some of their shares. But at the end of the day, guys, they're still holding on very strong and they're looking very, very good. Now, right now, the 91-year-old's uh, bet on Apple will likely go down as the most lucrative wager of his life, but it's also one of the best investments in history. Once again, showing that Berkshire Hathaway owned about 887 million Apple shares as of September 30th, giving it a 5.4 per stake in uh 5.4 percent stake in the iphone makers you know you know market so that's that's really good in my opinion they haven't sold off anything just yet they only cashed in about 12 percent of the position or about 13 billion dollars but right now guys they're holding the majority of them which is a very good indicator that they're still very bullish now it states here according to uh cnbc the exact same thing warren buffett makes over 120 billion dollars and apple's rise to three trillion dollars it's one of his best bets of all time once again absolutely crushing it he only sold a small percent of that stake so they're still holding the majority of their shares now other analysts out there are still saying that apple could easily easily break past two trillion or i'm sorry two hundred dollars a share and absolutely crush it we may see this thing hit maybe four trillion dollars in market cap one day and to me that would be very awesome as the economy is still doing quite well and we're not necessarily losing so to speak now can there be a correction that kind of slows it down yes it's possible but it's not going to stop apple because eventually they're going to recover and hit all-time highs again and again and again and why am i saying that look at this right here it's not just based off you know whether you like the stock or you like iphone phones or anything like that it's based off not only the fact that they have good customer service but their revenue look at the look at this from a you know investor standpoint the revenue in the billions is just going up and up and up and up every year i mean in 2020 it was 274 billion then in 2021 365 2022 is probably going to go up again as there's very high demand for their products and they're crushing it over and over again so what do i think is going to play out like i said before guys when it comes to their uh, stock price we could see some sideways action over the next couple of days but if you keep zooming in forward before any you know market correction starts we could still continue to run up we we may even approach the 190 relatively soon and go up as high as 200 in the upcoming months before some correction comes and which could cause a little bit of a reversal but then we're eventually in my opinion going to recover and then continue with the all-time highs so i'm not scared whatsoever i'm very bullish for the future of this company it has very good fundamentals the profit the revenues are really really good and i can't wait for what's going to play out so i thank you for listening I'm not the only one saying this. Warren Buffett still believes in Apple, and we can't wait for what's going to play out for the future. So I thank you. Have a great rest of the day, and I'll see you in the next one. Apple to the moon, and peace out.